Hi folks, just doing a quick review on the Intuos 4 tablet. Just very quickly, that's the box that you get with the unit. It's quite large and it's not something that's going to be crushed by the courier with whatever they do with it. On the back of it, you've got all the functions, yada yada on the back in 21 different languages actually quite a large size for the box in comparison, 30 inch monitor that gives you a rough sort of size it does sort of cover the monitor the tablet itself yeah, GA size again, up against the 30 inch monitor you get a rough sort of an idea of the large size with a medium size in comparison I'm told that the active area Keeping in mind the active area on the large is from here to here to here to here, that the medium only has an active area of the size of an iPad. So when you start putting an iPad on top, well, you can see you've got the extra room there and you've got bucket loads of room there. So, in my opinion, very much worth the extra money just for the large. I wouldn't say the extra large because it's nearly double the price of this and although it's a lot larger than the extra large I can't seem to justify the extra price difference uh, okay so what you get in the box is obviously the box, the tablet a few little CDs which include a quick user guide which is just this little book it's nothing spectacular, nothing like the uh, flash books that you come across from Canon which are heaps of pages long um, probably only about 10 pages of this quick user manual is only in English and it's only just very very basics just to tell you the layout and what to do and how to install software if you already don't know how to install software uh, you get two CDs and you also get a competition thing which I don't know anyway, with the CDs they do come with software uh, the software includes Nick Color FX, Pro Sample Filters and WordCamp Brushes for Photoshop plugins. Applications include uh, uh, Adobe Photoshop Elements, uh, Coral Painter, Sketchpad, Autodesk and Sketchbook Express. So there's the software that you get. Also, just worth mention, Photoshop Elements, it does come with a full version of version 8. Uh, it won't ask you for a serial number. I kind of assumed that it was only a trial version, but it is a full version, and the serial number is on the back of the CD. Other things it comes with, you get your pen, uh, and you get a little nib holder, and a pen holder, so the pen goes in there, like so, and you get little coloured rings, sure, whether you can see, but on that, actually got a red one on there depending on how colourful I'm feeling or you're feeling you can change it from red to grey to white to black it comes pre-installed with black by the way don't know why, I think it's just more universal uh, as for changing the nibs on the pen I sat there thinking how the hell do you do it and just to, so you're not in the same position as I was you get it like that and you're sitting there well, I was anyway going, well, how it doesn't come off of your fingernails. You do get extra nibs here, which I should have shown you before. In order to change it, it's relatively simple. It's a matter of getting the silver thing. And you've noticed there's a little clamp on the end. And it's a matter of gripping it and pulling. And so forth. And then nibs come off. Let's just quickly on how to change nibs on the pen. Put that back on. Okay, um, with the nibs that you do get, there's all different types. Not that you can probably see on the camera, but you got a little spring-loaded one. I'm sure, you can sort of see that. Um, you've got just different sort of textures whether you want to do a brush stroke etc. Think of it like an artist sort of tool so you've got all different sorts of things that you need 
Now this is actually fairly solid, it does have a little rubber mat on there so it's not going to slide around too much. Uh, what else do we have? With the pen itself, you do have a right click, a left click, pressure sensitive and a uh, very pressure sensitive, or I shouldn't say pre very pressure sensitive because you've got to put a lot of pressure on it is what I mean in order to get the eraser to work properly. This can be also adjusted, so it's just probably my fault also. Uh, you also do get uh, an extra rubber thing, it's actually a bit thicker. Downside of using this, you don't get the left and the right click buttons on your pen, because it kind of covers it and you have to take this off. And also, this thicker rubber one does attract lint um, big time, so if you drop it on the floor, you're going to be having to get out the lint brush and actually trying to get all the lint off and all the dust and crap, etc. Just to keep that in mind. Uh, going back onto the tablet, you've got the eight buttons along the side here. You've also got a touch wheel, which is similar to like your iPods. You know, it's touch. It's not. You don't feel no solid wheel. There is a centre button there. I'm not sure whether you can see. But press the centre button, you can scroll between auto scroll, cycle layers, brush size, canvas rotation. This can be all adjusted. And it's just a matter of going into the settings. I might actually get there, it'll be a good start. If you go into the settings, you've got everything that you need to adjust it. So all these buttons along the side here can be renamed. As it comes default, it says you know, Control Alt, and it has a little hand there. When you do change it throughout here, <coughs> you can actually change it from Control, and that Control will actually change. So you know, if you want to change it to Boat, as some weird and wonderful example, you can change it to Boat. If you want to change it to Layer, it'll come up with Layer, and you can add in the shortcuts, etc. Another thing to mention is the control, so if you're doing control J, which is new layer, or copy layer, sorry, one of the two, you'll need to have a control button and then a J, etc. Control must always remain separate. I haven't figured out a way to make the control and the J stick together for some reason. It's a limitation with the software. Okay, uh, as for the tablet itself again, it is left and right hand adjustable, so you can have it either which way. And the way it does this is you've got two USB ports on the side here, which are interchangeable through a little slidey switch down the bottom. Another thing with the tablet is it's not like your keyboard where you can sort of put it on a slant. It doesn't have anything like that, it just lays flat, and you've just got four rubber feet on the bottom, which don't tend to move unless you're being silly. Oh, you've got a slippery down, one of the two. Going into one of the programs that it comes with is Sketchpad, just to show you guys roughly what sort of things it does. Well, my handwriting shocking, and I'll just write ABC with the mouse just to show you the difference. Okay, now pass to do that with the tablet. And keep in mind, I'm doing this on an angle. Um, that wasn't probably the best example. Let me try again. Again, well, it kind of gives you a rough sort of idea. If you're trying to, for instance, just real like that, all that. If you have to draw like a curve, you wouldn't be able to do that on a mouse. So if you could well imagine if you're trying to trace around someone's eye or do any masks. It would be quite tedious if you're trying to do it on a mouse, whereas with this, it's quite simple. When you open up Photoshop, Photoshop has a few little extra features when you start getting into tablets. Just open up a quick image. Show you guys roughly what I mean. Now, when you go into your brushes, you'll notice that there's two little extra things up here. So, uh, what were they for? The tablet pressure controls opacity. So basically means the harder you press, 
part of the capacity, comes in handy if you're trying to do masks. Uh, and also if you're doing dodging and burning. And the pressure for the size, so in other words, the harder you press, the bigger the brush will get. Now that's pretty cool in my opinion. Um, no more having to bash the left and the right key over here on the keyboard. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you wanted to know any more, let me know. Otherwise, yeah, kind of gives you an idea, showing you the size, showing you the box it comes in. And I think that covers everything.